coming back for season two of the Playboy Murders was really special to me, both as a host and an executive producer, because there were so many more stories within this world that we wanted to tell. Everything from really famous cases like the Dorothy Stratton case to cases I hadn't heard of, and even a few cases that involved people I knew. So it's really close to home, and it's a much deeper dive than even season one. Playboy's always been a very mysterious, intriguing brand. It was that magazine that was always kept under the bed, so to speak. So people are always curious and want to know more about it. And it's a world where nothing is as it seems. These are real people's stories, and there's such a variety of them and so many intriguing ones. And we're getting some of the most fascinating. One of the stories we're covering this season is the story of Dorothy Stratton. It's a very famous case, but we wanted to dive even deeper into it than ever before. So that was really intriguing to me. When we did season one, there were so many of the stories that I hadn't heard of, and I was so intrigued by those stories. But I knew in season two we had to cover this one. Another case I was really interested in was the case of Paula Sladuski. She tried out for a 50th anniversary Playmate. Playboy was doing a huge search. That was while I was living at the mansion. I met so many of the women who came through for that search, and we interviewed some of them for this episode as well. There's a price to putting yourself out there online. There's a certain amount of criticism and lack of privacy, and I think it's important that everybody take extra precautions with their safety and how much of their personal life they're really willing to put out there. I had a lot of fun posing for the magazine and working at the studio, but the personal life part of my involvement wasn't so great. I just think it was a big company that involved so many different people. Some people had an amazing experience. Some people had an okay experience. Some people didn't have a great experience. And unfortunately, there were some tragedies involved as well. I love being a part of telling these stories, especially focusing more on the victims and on the women involved. I think it's really important to hear these stories, especially since some of them are unsolved, in case anybody has any information that they want to come forward with. But I also think, you know, the whole point of sharing stories in general is we're all learning from one another. And if there's anything that can be learned as far as taking care of yourself or taking any extra precautions, I think it's all worth it. My executive producer hat and my on-camera hat for this project, it's kind of the same person. Like, I'm always keeping in mind, like, you know, what did we cover in the research? What do we want to be sensitive to? It's the same in front of the camera as behind the camera when I'm going over the research or looking at the finished product.